okay thank you you may now continue sorry okay so um like um you we all know what is this uh, compost camp all about right the android study jams and i need responses fine so uh, basically compost camps are community organized events which focuses around how to build android apps using jetpack compose and we all know that jetpack compose is a very powerful library which is extensively used as an alternative to the traditional xml layouts in android and which also makes the complexity of making the ui is much better like when you do ui ux designing it makes very much easier for all these things so this now coming back to the session this is going to be like 5 days long workshop right shagil hello yeah yeah uh, yes five exactly days. five yeah, days uh, long one day, one day has day. already yeah. been done yeah it will be six days long actually so one day has already two. been done right yeah okay so it will be in a hybrid mode i guess yeah most probably the last two sessions will be hybrid hmm and uh, the first four we are planning to keep it online so okay. yeah so that they can get a training about it and then they can implement their project or whatever you project yeah, yeah. give them in an hands exactly. it will give them an hands on experience huh. with the compose skills they especially learn from your compose camp good good so yeah. now we'll um, you should learn about all the compose camp things uh, in this session because what i feel is that first you learn and then you can implement those things in your project and then you can showcase them in any projects like near the near projects which are coming is the hacktober fest you can implement your project and you can upload them in in open source and you can get a lot of goodies the more you contribute the more goodies you get so let's not further ado and we'll like to welcome our speakers for today we have the rohit kumar the app dev co lead of gdsc im hi rohit and we Hello. have okay and we have dia hazra our app dev co team member of gdsc im also hi uh, dia hi it's dia okay and also we have shagil the app dev lead of gdsc im he is actually the facilitator for the workshop so over to you shagil uh thank you sucheta and hello everyone so i welcome you to the day 2 of the compose camp i know many of you are not at home today but nevertheless uh any food fest uh, should not be as uh, means greater in pri priority than a study jam uh, kind of thing so i decided not to uh, reschedule my uh, session for today so let's continue with that and hopefully more people will join in uh, uh, as we continue our session so uh, from yesterday's uh, like not yesterday last session uh, how many of you were there from the last session and have any queries uh, from the last session you can feel you are free to write it in the chat box to unmute yourself whichever you feel free did you understand the concepts behind it and and definitely you will get the github code uh, the video is under editing so we'll provide you with it quite soon okay srijan nice dipan okay okay thanks ishita okay so in the last session i'll just give a brief over you what we did in the last session we covered the basics of android the android studio ide the various folders and their uses in detail uh means a, a little kind of overview about what their uses are definitely in detail means uh just exploring the entire ocean of android development so the entire uh, thing we can't cover so we did whatever uh, was necessary at that point and after that uh, we uh, took a project overview then we switched to the practicals of uh, ex uh, means designing a layout in xml and handling events through our kotlin code uh am i wrong did we do till there or did i miss something if 
fine i think we did there and without further ado i think uh, let me introduce you to today's uh, topic what i'm going to cover today so today what we are going to do is we saw xml layout and the and today what we are going to do is we are going to design our uh, layouts using the jetpack compose library on which the entire compose camp is based and we are going to see how powerful how important and how advantageous that library is over uh, the traditional xml library yes exactly in the industry right now as of now xml is mostly used but companies are migrating from xml to jetpack and you'll see in a few moments uh, why this is so powerful why this xml is uh, means the jetpack compose thing is so powerful so let's get started i'll share my screen Okay, so is my screen visible to everyone? Any responses? It's visible. It's visible. Yeah, thank you. Fine. So, from today, we are going to start the Jetpack and let's get in. First of all, let's understand like where is the change exactly, which we will see in the code, in the implementation. In the last session, you must have seen that in the rest folder, we had all the resources of our Android uh, project, the drawables means the images that we want to display in our applications, the font, the various kind of font that we want to use in our application. And today we'll cover a part on images. So uh, keep a watch on the drawable folder. Uh, and after that, we had this folder called the layout folder. Can you see the layout folder in the left hand side of the image? yes yeah great so uh, yeah small recap okay okay before starting on with the uh coding part i'll just give you a brief overview of the things we have done in the last session a very brief overview and then we'll move is that fine satyam okay please reply so that i can proceed okay okay sure so the change changes that in the layout folder, we had files written in XML. But over here, you can see that there isn't any layout folder. Can you see the change from the left to the right? Okay, great. So this is the thing that we are going to take advantage of. And let's proceed further. Okay. So what is Jetpack Compose actually? The formal definition for it. So Jetpack Compose is a modern toolkit for building native Android UI. Fine. Jetpack Compose simplifies and accelerates UI development on Android with less code. Mark my words, less code, powerful tools, really powerful tools, and intuitive Kotlin APIs. Fine. After that, now the question is, you are very good doing uh, XML layouts, designing it using the constraint drag and drop thing. Now, why all of a sudden you want us to switch to Jetpack Compose, isn't it? So the better answer to that would be when I'll be coding it. But just to give you a brief overview, view, uh, like why we are uh, preferring Jetpack Compose over XML, why the industry is preferring Jetpack Compose over XML is, it is a declarative UI. Now, what does a declarative UI mean? We'll be covering in our uh, sessions to come. But this declarable, uh, declarative UI is uh, more cleaner, readable, and performant than an imperative UI. Imperative UI over here means our traditional XML. That's the first point of advantage. The second is that there is a lot less uh, lines of code. So less typing, more results. Are you with me? Guys? Okay, sure. Next is corner compose is a bit more intuitive. This means that you just need to tell compose what you want to show the user. You just basically tell them that yaar, ye dikha do, and uh, Jetpack compose will do it for you. Next is the compose improves the build time and APK size. Now this is the most important thing. With Jetpack compose, the build time of our application 
So can anyone tell me what is the build time? What do they mean by the build time? I think those who have attended the previous session might know what was that thing. Can I have a, res a few responses? What is exactly a build time? Anyone? Time to make an application. Okay. A bit more specific, please. Anyone? Uh, the compilation of the code and how to interpret it is uh, the time required. Compilation of the code, okay. That's uh, one part of the thing and how to interpret it. Uh, no, no, like not how to interpret it. Compilation and then doing what? A uh, prototype of the application, okay. Time complexity, no, no, no. I think it's not time complexity. Okay, I'll tell you. So build time of any application <clears throat> is the time required to build the APK for that application. Means you have, you are writing uh, just the Java code, writing the, uh, coding the XML layout, designing it. Then how much time is actually required to build the APK from that? Because see, you write, uh, let's say, if you have a programming language experience, then you write uh, some lines of code and then you compile it and it runs in the command line terminal. But here, that's not the case. Here, you have to build a proper UI, a .apk file, uh, which runs on your mobile phone or any Android device. So the time required to build that is much less in Jetpack Compose as compared to the XML layers. Fine. So is the idea clear about what is actually a build time? We'll also discuss uh, Gradle uh, build over here because last time I could not cover that. So anybody has any idea about Gradle builds? What is a Gradle in Android? Okay, Abhishek Raj means you have prior Android uh, development experience. Right. Okay, but you know uh, about Gradle build. Okay, there's a question from Deep Tonil. The difference between UI APK and application is uh, UI APK, I mean, means you want to uh, differentiate between a UI and APK and an application. Is that uh, what you're asking, Deep Tonil? Okay, fine. So what is a UI? A UI is basically a design which interacts with the user. Okay, that is called an AP. Just like uh, we have, a, 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 suppose we write a file, a text.txt file in notepad and save it as .txt and that is a text file. So this .apk is also a kind of file which runs in your Android devices, in your Android operating system. Okay, so that is an APK, that is a collection you have written that is a collection of codes all the libraries required to run that application bundled together into just one uh, like uh, apk that's uh, into one, one file which can be executed on an android environment and the next is an application now see this is a question application can be many things application could be a web application an iOS application. So anything that can be run uh, is called an application. Okay. So is the thing clear? A slight difference between the UI, APK and application, Diptoni? You can unmute yourself also, Anna. Okay, okay, fine. Uh, is Gradle a toolkit which makes app building easier? Gradle is the toolkit which makes, uh, like which builds the app APK of an application. And yeah, maybe it makes it easier if compared to if there is any other uh, toolkit. If there is in a, any other toolkit, then maybe Gradle is preferred over there. So you can research about that. But yeah, we'll cover about Gradle builds a bit later into the course. Now, moving to the next slide is uh, 
how many of you remember first of all that i had uh, said in the previous session uh, like what are views in our layouts can anyone uh, like recall what is view anything in an application means any yeah, anything, anything that is ha huh? visible in the screen yeah exactly great srijan uh, you are from uh, like uh, which branch it okay you are from it great Uh, IT second year. Yes, IT second year. Okay, great, great. So we'll have a nice time. Uh, so as Sujan said, that anything that is uh visible on the screen is actually a view. But that terminology, and I also said that we will be referring uh to them by a new name in our next session. And here is it. Uh, here it is. That in compose we no more have the concept of views. in compose we no more have the concept of views now we become a bit uh, like we tend to go a little uh, further into a flutter or a react js kind of uh, ui design or ui develop that is building ui in components rather than views and here anything any component will be called a composable so jetpack compose is actually building ui with the help of composables so anything that you will be seeing in jetpack compose will be a composable is that thing clear can you kind of relate what is a composable with uh, what is a view what was a view in fact in xml anyone is the thing clear is the distinction and the similarity clear uh, come on guys uh, are you facing some problems uh, understanding anything why is the interaction so low okay okay vidhi and satyam okay thank you so let's see what is a composable so composable are actually functions that let you define your apps ui programmatically by describing how it should look and providing data dependencies rather than focusing on the process of ui's construction means what uh, we mean uh, like what is meant by this uh, statement is that in xml we had to create our ui manually write the same chunk of code every time we want to do the same function uh, but here what we have we have uh, with the help of composables thing called like we we use make use of functions and we can reuse the same code over and over again without writing so we don't have to write huge chunks of code we just write a code for this uh, kind of a view and just kind of reuse it every time we need fine you'll get in more when i uh, kind of discuss uh, what is uh, exactly uh, happening okay fine chalo moving on to the next one is a preview function now suppose you have created a view and you want to uh, sorry sorry not a view not a view suppose you have created a layout and you want to see that how it's actually looks on uh, your mobile so for that what is the first thing that you can do to see how it actually looks you have to run it in your virtual device or through your uh, android device fine but compose offers a better way of doing that yeah so compose offers a better way of doing that using the preview function in the preview function we pass dummy data and just when we save the uh, file it shows us the output of our uh, code that we have written the design part so it makes us uh, makes it a lot more easier that we don't have to uh, like get and build the project every time we want to uh, we make uh, even the slightest of changes so that's one of the uh, advantages of a uh, preview function in kotlin now so just comparing the xml layout with uh, the compose in xml layout we dealt with constraint layout linear layout and relative layouts uh, the constraint layout, we didn't do linear or relative because uh, like uh, the most famous and the most uh, modern one is the constraint layout so we focused on that and how easy it was for us to use the drag and drop method to kind of create our layouts but linear layout and relative layout are also very useful uh, and 
if you are interested then maybe you can just uh, google it and you'll find a lot of uh, resources already available for this and these were used to align the views horizontally and vertically how uh, like we did in our previous uh, session but in compose we have functions like the column function the row function now this column and row functions as the name suggests are something similar to that of uh, excel microsoft excel columns and rows like columns and rows of a table so we design our layout uh, kind of if we want to align our composables then we do it using the concept of those in compose the uh, things also like the text the box image and a lot more thing a card is there and we'll be seeing a few of them today itself so let's move to the next one uh yeah so i think with that we have come uh, to the end of the slide so now it's time for a few questions like till here is there anything that you people didn't understand because we are going to just dive into the code part right now any feedback still here any questions any queries did you understand or you face any problem understanding the thing okay and i i mean you can uh, not uh, like <laughs> no need to call me sir because i'm just your uh, senior a year senior to you you can call me by my name or by bhaiya if you want to but if it pleases you to call me sir then that's not an issue so Uh, i assume that you people don't have problems with what it is and now we will do uh, the actual coding part and show you so here is my android studio ready for taking off so first we'll do is we'll create a new project so is my screen clearly visible the android studio terminal and everything yes yes visible okay so we'll now start with the coding part so first of all as we did in the previous uh, part we will create a new project fine now here is something that we will uh something that will be a little different previously can you tell me which of the layouts we had chosen to continue with our projects empty activity yeah, yeah exactly empty activity so today we are going to since we are not uh, doing the traditional xml layout we are doing the empty compose uh, like jetpack compose so we will create a empty compose activity now you must be asking that uh, can't we do compose using the empty activity i mean yes obviously you can do that it's basically a template so you can uh, override a few functions over there and you can use jetpack compose even if you have chosen empty activity but here what will happen we have we'll have a few things set up for us uh, already so we'll kind of uh, do the empty compose activity click on that and create our project click on next okay now as we did in the previous uh, lesson we will just uh, give it a name so let's call it my first compose app fine and language has to be compose see you don't have the option of using java so the language has to be compose so after this you'll just click on finish and android studio will just create the project for you so in the meantime while the project is getting created i just want you to uh, like i just want to tell you briefly about what exactly is gradle build like you can see in the bottom of your screens it says that gradle build model so what exactly is gradle so gradle is basically a set of tools uh, that is used uh, to bundle up the entire application and build an apk for you. it contains all the dependencies that we will uh, be using in our application all the jdk all any other details that we want to specify over here will everything that we need will be there uh, in the gradle bit fine so before moving directly into the compose part i'll just want to show you that can you see the gradle script section of my screen and is it the same for all of you in your screen 
the Gradle build. Okay, fine. So here we have Gradle scripts. Fine. So in Gradle scripts, we have uh, basically two Gradles. One is build dot Gradle, which is says that project my first compose app, and uh, we have another Gradle, uh, which is uh, the module my first compose app dot app. Okay. So to better understand it, I'll just switch to the project view. Fine. And any one can recall what is actually a project view over here. What is a project view? Anyone? The more you interact, the more you can learn because it is a, the like name of a community Guys, based session. It will be better others. if you use yeah. the chat box or you unmute because. Like that, you learn actually. The more question you ask, the more answers you get to know. Your curiosity. Yeah, exactly. Fine. So um, I assume that none of uh, you recall what exactly is a project view. But so let me tell it to you. So the project view is that view of your entire project, which you get when you open your project using a file manager. So I'll just quickly do it for you. So. Uh, my project is saved in the app projects folder over here. And the name of the project is my first Jetpack Compose app, right? Uh, here, here it is. So if you open it, the folders and the order in which they are arranged is the same as in here. Isn't so? So for that, if we want to see a like file manager kind of a view of our entire project, then we use the project. View. But if we want to see only those files, which are of our interests, uh, while developing the entire application, then we switch to the Android view because it contains more relevant, uh, views in front of us. Fine. And it, but it is not the same as the, as it, uh, as the files are stored in the project. So why I switched to the project view, because I wanted to show you the two types of Gradle field, uh, Gradle, uh, dot build files, uh, build dot Gradle files, which you will encounter in your Android development journey. The first is this app level and the other is the module level. So when you open this application and you will see that there is one build dot Gradle file over here. Fine. And when you click on this app folder, you will all find there is another build dot Gradle and both of them are slightly different from one. Another. Can you see the difference? Like if I split the screen and show you, uh, fine. Yeah. So can you see the difference that these two files have a uh, kind of exactly the same name? They are located in two different uh, locations of the project and they are slightly different I mean, slightly, no, uh, comparatively a lot different from one another. Yes, actually fully different, <laughs> almost yeah, fully different from one another. Uh, did you people kind of uh, explore this thing, get a chance to explore this thing, uh, after the previous session? <laughs> Mine one is still loading. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sujit. Uh, that's a common thing with all Android developers. <laughs> <laughs> it keeps loading. Yes, it's and a I'm, very high weight. Yeah. ID. It's uh, exactly. A lot of very useful features for creating applications yeah. very easily. That's why it is so heavy. <laughs> but <laughs> nonetheless, once it starts running, it's uh, worth it. Right? Okay, so yeah, in the, uh, now coming back to this, uh, this is the project level Gradle file. And if you have uh, any kind of a project, then you will have only one project level Gradle file, build dot Gradle file. Fine. But if you are working in the industry, then there are multiple teams working on the same application at the same time. Right. So over there, you will have a lot of uh, means um, many modules like this thing. This folder with a, with a green dot is actually called a module in uh, terms of Android or in any software development terms. This is called a module. Fine. You can create new modules 
just like this app module. So as many modules you have, you will have that much, uh, I mean, that many amount of build.gradle files. Fine. But this project level build.gradle file will always be a single. So what is exactly is there? So here we have a plugins. Now what are plugins? Plugins are basically uh, the, if we use the very simplest terms, then plugins are the kind of uh, tools that we want to use in our app. Suppose, uh, let's take a very simple example. Uh, we want to use a light. Uh, we want to charge our laptop. Then we, what, what do we do? We kind of pl uh, plug into our, uh, uh, like electricity outlet, uh, electricity board and just switch it on and it starts charging. So similarly, suppose we want to make use of the Kotlin library, uh, then we, uh, means all the features of Kotlin. What do we do? We plug it. It is, uh, defining a ID inside of the plugin tags about all the things that we want to use in our application. Fine. And here we add all of our dependencies that we'll be using in our application. So you can see there are a lot of dependencies. First is this, uh, uh KTX dependency. Then we have a dependency for compose, which says compose version. The version over here is 1.1.0 beta zero one. That is the current, uh, latest version of compose that we have. Then we have the material support, UI tooling, uh, runtime support, uh, compose activity, and a lot of other things for unit testing for, uh, yeah. And uh, stuff like that. So this is the work of exactly the build out file, which was not covered in the last set, uh, session. So is the function of the build of dot gradle file clear? Suppose you want to use any library other than jetpack compose. Then what will you do? You will just add an implementation, uh, means the implementation of that ID, the thing over here, just like it by using, if we want to add our own thing, then we just write implementation fine. And within single quotes or double quotes, you can write like Android X dot code or whatever kind of dependency you want to use in our application. Suppose I want to use retrofit that which we'll be using in our uh, project application, which will be a news application, uh, just like, uh, the news feed you have in Google. So we'll start with that from the next very next session that is tomorrow itself. So we'll be using all the, uh, best design principles in Android, the uh, clean architecture, MVVM and, uh, Jetpack compose to design the UI. So it will be a simple application, but will surely, uh, clear all your doubts regarding, uh, this thing called. Android develop. Fine. So, uh, is this thing clear till here? What is the use of build or gradle? Any, any doubt you have, you can ask or anything else you want to share. You can ask. Okay. Shita. Any doubts up till here? Clear. You can unmute yourself and directly ask the doubts. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Fine. Okay. Clear. Means you people are understanding uh, the basics of Android. That's good. So let's dive into our uh, main dot main activity dot kt, and this time the scene is quite different. Kuch alagi scene hai ya? Hai ki nahi? What are the changes you see on your screen? means I did not touch the keyboard. I did not write a single uh, line of code and all these things are already there for me. So am I the only one seeing this or any other, uh, anyone else also seeing all these things in their ID? <laughs> same, same, right? So what exactly is this? Fine. Previously in our, uh, let me show you the previous application. We'll go a little slow. And, uh, the previous application that we built was this one, my first Android app from the last session. So, so one who wanted to have a brief, uh, overview about what we wanted to, uh, like what we did in the last session was we created an application and we can, could not prevent ourselves from printing our crush's name onto the screen. I mean, we were helpless. So that is the application that we created. 
isn't it and i'll just give you a brief overview about what we did over here so first of all we created the ui uh, and we i as i said that in xml we have things uh, called the uh, everything over there is a view so we had all these things view we uh, added it and constrained it to the fine uh, the outermost contain container for this boost uh, was the constraint layout over here we had uh, our names displayed and our hobbies displayed and here it was a edit text in which we could type it and in that we uh, had a placeholder for which uh, the it will be shown that the demo text that will be present even before we type anything which is name and that was actually uh, we wanted to display our crush name so we would type uh, his or her name and then in the text view it will get displayed on clicking this button and to tackle this activity we had code the business logic written in uh, the other section means over here we had the design and over here what we did was we kind of uh, extracted those uh, views from our layouts and put it inside of our program kotlin file and created an object for them so that we can use all of their properties and do anything we want to with them was this thing like uh, clear in the last session isn't it that's what we did and this was the event that we handled it was a very basic thing we wanted to read the uh, all the events that were is basically what we wanted to do was whenever user uh, clicks this uh, button that we have here called the submit button the android uh, thing will know uh, that uh, this button has been clicked and whenever this thing is uh, has been clicked it will automatically change the text of the crush name text view to the text which we we have written on our crush name edit text fine and it was getting displayed in this text view i'll share the github for this thing i uh, basically it's very easy to design this thing but still now from here what i want you to show basically is uh, this distinction that here we have set content view and uh, can anyone tell me what was the use of this set content view function and we were passing the id of our uh, layout from our dot layout dot activity mean so can anyone tell me what was the use of it even remember are you guys with me hello guys yeah uh, so explain it once again i guess everyone forgot okay fine <laughs> so that's what i wanted to hear at least tell me if uh, you don't remember uh, so what i said in the previous session i'll just kind of repeat the set content view means the use of the set content view function was this is an activity and how do we know because we have extended this kotlin class to another class called app compat activity so this kotlin class has become an activity in our application now in order for us to uh, interact with the layout of this activity we explicitly define that layout over here in the set content view function in the set content view function what we do is we attach the activity main dot xml file means the layout which we have created to this uh, main activity dot kt kotlin file and by doing that what we can do is whatever views which are available in the activity main.xml file will uh, we can create objects like we did over here by using r.id dot, ID dot uh, whatever view we want to create an object of and use that to do whatever we desire to 
fine so that's the use of set content view function but in the present application that we have you see that there is nothing like the set content view function and i think you must have guessed it by now that since we don't have an xml file so we don't need a set content view function but instead we have a set content block over here inside of which we have something which i will not discuss today it's the my first compose app theme or something uh, we will uh, see to it a uh, later what exactly this theme is in fact you if any one of you want to know a bit more about what exactly this is you can find that there are four uh, files automatically generated by kotlin and you can go to the theme section and you can see over here that this is what my first fine can you just find it in your uh, ides the same thing which i am saying uh excuse me yeah can you please repeat the last 1 minute or so what you said it froze for me okay okay sure uh i said that we don't have set content view function in a compose uh app because there is no dot xml file but instead of that we have a set content block which is present over here which i have highlighted just now and inside of the set content block we have another block called the my first compose app theme which is the theme for our application the reference to which you can find in the theme.kt file which was automatically generated when we chose empty compose activity while creating our projects fine and here it's actually all the set of colors uh, the set of uh, typographies shapes and content that we want to use in our application we define it uh, over here once and for all and we can access that theme from whenever we wish to basically that should be the first uh, basically it should be uh, in the launcher activity like this okay now one more question comes in uh, in my mind what is a launcher activity does anyone remember okay is my video freezing a bit no, sure. no, okay it actually froze for a moment but right yeah. now it's okay yeah. yeah okay 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 fine i don't know why it happened but it's okay ha huh, so what i said was clear right the voice and everything Yes, yes, it was uh, clear. Actually, the internet cannot bear you opening the Android as well as doing the Zoom everything. <laughs> Too much to bear, but fine. Yeah. Uh, so, did everyone uh, get what I was trying to say over here? Okay, Abhishek Raj. Ha, huh, yes. I nearly forgot the question. Thanks, Srijan, for reminding. But the question was, okay, what was the question that I was trying to ask? <laughs> Fine, uh, if I remember, I'll kind of ask you uh, the question. What exactly was that in my mind? <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Are bye, great. You people are very attentive. The launcher activity. What exactly is a launcher activity? Please go ahead. So, Jum, there, instructed. Okay, really good. And where do we define uh, an activity as a launcher activity? In which file can you remember that special file which I had talked about? You were there. Ha! Huh, in which file? of the entire project we define that this particular activity like the main activity is our launcher activity in which file <laughs> okay 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 do you remember something called the manifest android manifest.xml this guy over here 
here we had the uh, category for android dot intent dot category dot launcher. Yes, now you people recall, great. So here uh, actually in Android manifest uh, activity, we define all the building blocks of our application, activity, services, and stuff like that. So we come back to uh, over here and just run. I have not written uh, done anything. I'll kind of just run our app, uh, application emulator. After that show you what exactly is a preview. Before that, let's run our application in the emulator and see what we have. Means what Android Studio has already done for us. And I'll one by one start explaining that. Just like Srijan, even I'm waiting for the build to finish. Okay, one more thing. Shall I uh, switch off my videos? Since some of you are telling that my uh, voice is getting affected by it. Will it be a problem if I close my window? I mean, uh, video. Okay, let me close it for some time. I'll open it at the end. Okay. Satyam said it's showing hello Android. Okay, great. Great, Satya. So he's actually doing it. Yeah, right now. many people are doing it. So how yeah. how many of you are actually doing it uh, with us? Quickly, quickly in our chat box. Vidhi is doing. Hmm. Okay. Sri John is doing. Short Jomo is doing. Uh, you can raise your hand also. I know you're not in the habit of it since uh, the class is resumed uh, <laughs> offline. <laughs> Even I used to do it that time. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. All of us used to do it. Yeah. Okay, I think I should close my previous project. Uh, maybe it's affecting my build time over here. And for any one of you who wanted to see the practical implication of build time, this is the thing. The time it requires to build an APK for our application. So this is the build time and it's uh, closed my previous application. Let's see. I think it's uh, starting for the first time. So that's why. Just a minute, let me stop it and rebuild it just in case. Okay, okay. Okay. Aap log mujhse zyada acha Android kar raha tha. Maybe that's why uh, aapka sahi chal raha hai. Android Studio and Mira Yahape Rukjara. Great, you people like session map log expert. Okay, is it so? Thank you. Finish with that maximum good. The meaning is so much near. Kachiska? Maximum could Hebrew. Maximum could to Hebrew we have with it. Abi uh Abita Phila Hebrew. Maximum could. Ha ha actually mana curtain abita gira kerakaya. Uskiuper. Diri Drikarke coat per se curtain uthao. 
एक बार मैं देखना चाहता हूँ कि ये चल भी रहा है कि नहीं ठीक है इसलिए ओके okay. <laughs> है ना ठीक करके तमाम चीजें आपको समझाता रहूंगा ठीक है फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ये जो जिबरेश टाइप लग रहा है है ना उसको पहले थोड़ा सा क्लैरिफाई करेंगे हम लोग थोड़ा सा उसको ये करेंगे तो जैसा कि आपने देखा जैसा कि आप लोग सब ने बोला विधि सत्यम एंड और भी लोग जो जिन्होंने कहा था ये चीज तो बिल्कुल सेम चीज मेरे इसमें भी आया है हेलो एंड्रॉइड अब एक एक करके मैं समझाता हूँ तो जैसे कि सेट कंटेंट व्यू में था इवन इन सेट कंटेंट ब्लॉक वी डिफाइन एवरी थिंग दैट वी वॉन्ट टू शो इन आवर मेन एक्टिविटी और इन एनी एक्टिविटी दैट वी आर राइटिंग दिस कोड फॉर फाइन सो इन आर केस दिस इज द मेन एक्टिविटी सो हियर वट वी विल डू इज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल डिलीट द थीम ब्लॉक फ्रॉम हियर फाइन एंड वी विल स्टार्ट बाई कॉलिंग दिस फंक्शन ग्रीटिंग है ना here this greeting is actually a composable which we were talking about and what is a composable a composable is a component of our ui so you can see and we mark the component of our ui by at the rate composable this is called an annotation in android fine so this annotation what does it do any if we mark this annotation at the rate composable before any function in our uh, kotlin file then that function automatically becomes a composable means that can be used to create views which we had in the xml layer here what we have we have a thing called uh, which is similar to the text view which we have discussed in the last session so this is nothing but your text view so this is done by just writing this function text and then what kind of text you want to display then hello and followed by name now this thing is uh, actually used for uh, like displaying whatever name you have over here so as a variable so you have hello and then name and that thing hello android gets displayed in the uh, application fine we will discuss about it in a moment this block so just ignore this block for the time being and come to our set content block from where we will call this composable called greeting and pass the name of our crush just like we did in the previous uh, thing so let's say the name of my crush is jisko hindi mein jeet bhi bolte hain so let's generate the apk and see whatever changes what changes do you expect by the way so the uh, name would be changed from uh, android to victory yes. ha it will be changed from hello victory right so this is what uh, how views are displayed in kotlin now in uh, sorry in jetpack compose so now in jetpack compose there are a lot of other views and for that first of all i'll want you to introduce uh, to the official documentation of jetpack compose by uh, written by google developers so it's very comprehensive and uh, just let it why is it so yeah so here it is so by using jetpack compose we can build apps faster hai na and here you will find the code support for everything everything that you want to suppose you want to uh, create an image okay suppose you want to display this kind of a card okay this uh, clickable card okay so how many of you want to uh, want me to uh, code for this click clickable card in jetpack compose right now okay great so let's so do it along with card? me so all of you open this uh, let me share what the link what is a clickable card sorry uh, can you repeat what your question what is a please? clickable card means ha i'll show you i'll show you this yeah, thing, i'll show you you will see it for yourself you will code it for yourself let me just copy this thing i think i can't copy it can i oops i can't copy it maybe i'll have to write it so that's how developers usually uh, take help from google and write it so i'll start the session by this thing uh, 
I should not do that, but I don't know why it appears more tempting for me to start the session by doing this only. So we will do what is if you want to, you can code along with me. So first of all, we will declare a function, okay, which will uh, we will name as the jetpack compose card, right? And since this is not any ordinary function, this is actually a composed market with the you can see it in the top composable. So this becomes a composable card. Over here, we have something called a card view. Fine. Now, what is a card actually? So basically, card is a kind of a widget that looks like a card. Uh, and you can, it's, it's kind of a container in the shape of a card. You, are you understanding what exactly is a card? Suppose uh, you want to invite someone, then that uh, invitation you send it using a digital uh, email or something. Inside of it, you draw, uh, send a card. So that card uh, in Jetpack Compose is implemented using this card uh, function over here. Fine, card composable over here. So we will do it like that. We will say card means the digital uh, application of the diff tab in HTML. Digital means suppose we are uh, making a means the output of a diff tag means suppose we are creating a picture and some things and writing some details about it and uh, yeah exactly in the shape of a card if you want to do all those things in the shape of a card position then we use this card I know. Yeah. yes yes okay, okay so okay. let's do it then there is a variable in Kotlin that we have defined here called the expanded by remember fine mutable state of false now we will import this thing using alt enter and again import it using alt enter and the thing is now okay what is the problem over here just a moment Fine. And then after that, we want another composable that we have here, which is called the column. Fine. And inside of the column, we have something called the modifier. And now what is the modifier? In the previous section, uh, what we did, whenever we wanted to handle any kind of event, especially a click event, we manually took the view from the XML, created an object for it in the Kotlin file. and added a dot set on click listener and inside of that we defined our action but in compose what we can do is we can do that using a thing a property called no no you don't have to remember all these things you don't have to remember anything if you want to be a developer you don't have to remember anything fine so this is the first thing that i'm showing so inside of it, what we will do is we will write modifier dot and you will have a clickable and inside of the click clickable, whenever this column is clicked, what we want is we want to set the expanded that if the card is expanded to complement that means reverse it. If, if the card was expanded, we want it to get collapsed. And if, if it was collapsed, we want it to get expanded. And what exactly we will do, just uh, hold on. Image. Okay, so we have
Oke, okay, buat tapi uh, basically Oh, fine. Inside of it, we will have text. The text of it will be equal to jetpack controls. And the style will be material in the time. That's it. Well, maybe we want to import get value and make it the same. And that's it. There seems to be some problem over here. I don't know why. Yeah, no. Okay, so uh, and a, a little bit of problem in the image section. What is that? Filter we have the filter resource r dot normal dot and content description we don't want to show anything so that's pretty much it I guess so now what we will do is we are going to call this composer from inside of our set content block get back compose card and run our UI see what will exactly happen fine i know i know it was a little uh, confusing at first fine but now things will get clear as i explain it so the build is ready and you can see there is a card over here so if i Click on this card. Did you see what happened? And if I again click on this card, again something happened. Did all of you notice that? Yes. Anna, maybe I'll use a different image yes. to make the thing clear. Uh, huh. So maybe I'll use a different image. Just hold on a moment. I'll use a different image. If I have any dummy image over here, okay, fine. I do have to make the thing more clear. The image is a bit uh, small, so that's why it's uh, getting like that. Huh. Or maybe just uh, do one thing. There is one more property over here, which we can add that is called uh, the content scale. If I'm not wrong. Yeah, the content scale and from that content scale, we will use the dot crop function. I'll explain you what exactly I'm doing. And let's run this thing only and let's see what happens. still the same uh, then I'll maybe I'll use the modifier to do something else for me modifier dot fill max size now I think it will be fill max size let's say fill max width just bear with me for a while I'm doing this impromptu first of all that's why uh, it's like that. Um, maybe it fills the max width, but it's not clearly showing. But hope you get what exactly this card does in Compose and how easy what it, uh, it was. So now one by one, I'll kind of explain. What I did was I created a card. You know, this card. Can you see this card, everyone? This card on which I have an image and some white space over here. Is it visible to everyone? Yes. Yeah, so over here we have an image and on the right side of it, we have some white space that forms our entire card. 
Fine. Yes. Yeah. So now what happens? Uh, just let me close this thing. Yeah. So now what happens is inside of this card, we have a variable named expanded. Now, can anyone guess what will this variable do? Then I'll explain the entire syntax, what uh, all these things mean. And you'll face a lot when you uh, get into the world of Android. Expanded. So this thing actually remembers, it remembers the current state of our card, whether it is expanded. If it is expanded, the thing will be true. And if it is collapsed or not expanded, the value of it will be false. Now you will, uh, you will be telling me that, uh, you must be thinking that why didn't I just say where expanded is equal to false. And then I just kind of, uh, kept doing it. So we could have done that, but that's not the best practice to do because that code will execute only once. Now we want this to, uh, kind of exist for as long as the app is active. Fine. And if we want that thing to happen, then we have to declare this variable by remember property. And inside of this remember, we have to declare false as a mutable state. And what is a state means in whichever state this application is. And this state, this is the very reason why Kotlin is called a declarative UI because it has a state. It works on states means it's not a dead UI, like a dot XML file. It is active. It observes things. It has states of it, uh, of its own. It's composable, have their own states. So you can use that property to get the v uh, value of expanded to stay till the very end of our application. Is that clear? Now coming to our next composable that we have inside of our card is the thing which we discussed in our slide. That is the column. So what exactly is a column? So a column to what we have in uh, XML, it's basically just single column. This thing just creates a single column. Fine. And anything which we write inside of this block uh, from here to here means this column scope. Anything that we write inside of this column scope will be inside of this column. But whatever we pass inside of the constructor of column is uh, are all the properties that we want this column to exhibit. And in order to exhibit such properties, we have another uh, class called the modifier class. This modifier class attaches many properties to this columns. And what are those? Those could be fill max width. That is to fill the maximum width of this uh, thing. Now, the, since the image is small, so that's why it's not filling the maximum width. Otherwise, it would have filled the maximum width. Then we have the modifier function for fill max size means fill the entire screen. Then we have fill max height means only fill the entire height of the screen. Fine. Then we have called something called the padding over here. By padding, we uh, it's basically the spacing from all four sides of the uh, parent container. Fine. So let's say it's 16 dot DP if you want to do it. Uh, give it a padding of 16 DP and let's see how it looks. If we kind of run it. In the meantime, I'll just copy that thing. I think I've already done it. And paste it in our drawable. Okay. So can you see the effect of adding dot padding of 16 DP to this card? Can anyone see the minor change over here? Yes, there's a space. Yes, the, uh, so that's space exactly the what the padding does. Right. Same as in uh, HTML. Uh, ah, exactly. It's the same thing in, uh, which we have in HTML. 
Now suppose uh, let me change the drawable to the other image that I have. And now let's run this application and let's see how it looks. So the padding thing is clear. Now fill max width. It will be more clear when uh, we see the uh, second image. Now we have another property added to the dot modifier in Kotlin. That is the clickable property. Now, what does this uh, do? So whenever, whenever our card is clicked, fine. Whenever our card is clicked. Now, can you see this thing over here? The change. Now, if I click on it, it gets expanded. If I click on it, it gets contracted again. If I want to click on it, it gets expanded. So on and so forth. Let's add a background color to it. Uh, let's give it a color of, let's say, uh, uh, green. Hanna, so this clickable function, as I was saying, what does this do is whenever the column is clicked, it will change the value of expanded from false to true and true to false means complement the value, right? And inside of this column, we have our image and in image, how do we kind of uh, now, now this one, I think it's uh, more evident. If we click on it, it gets expanded the card. And if we again click on it, it gets contract. So I think this one is more clear. Does it look nice? Are you people understanding it first of all, or has it become a bit more difficult for you? Any responses? Okay. Shoja Mai says very clear. Okay. Okay. Great. Fine. Ishita. Okay. Deptonil. Thank you. So what happens is whenever we click on it, uh, the thing gets expanded and whenever we click on it, it gets uh, contracted. And this thing is governed by this variable, which we have declared over here called the expanded variable. Now this is the work of the expanded variable is to handle the state. And where are we using this expanded variable? We are using this inside of the animated visibility means this animation. This is actually an animation, which you have created. Anything that is moving in the screen is created with just two, three lines of code. Fine. And this is your first animation. So congrats to everyone who uh, were coding along with us and could do this animation. Yes, exactly. So I said it in the uh, introductory session that people from uh, flutter background will find it uh, more relatable and more easier. Okay. Because the entire UI in Jetpack Compose is built on the principles of the UI of Flutter, the declarative UI. So this is all, uh, all that's happening. Now we'll discuss something about this image. Okay. We'll take up this image and discuss some more about it. So let's give me, uh, give it a little bit of spacing and let's do it. So in image, you people must have guessed that this is for hosting our images inside of the image. We have three, not three. In fact, a tons of properties, which you can find whenever we try to type some, suppose I try to just type any gibberish, uh, Android studio, yes, the stop shape and stuff. Uh, it will get, uh, the intelligence will detect it and it will show to us, uh, that what are the, what are all the properties that we have and at our disposal in this image inside of this image composable. So this image composable is actually used for displaying images in our application, whichever image we wish to display. So the first thing is a painter object that we have to pass. Now, what is a painter object? So this is not a word file. This is an Android application. So here, any image that you want to display will be displayed uh, using bitmaps and painters. Now, what are those? Those are actually the programming equivalents or kind of binary equivalents of our image. And the program understands only that 
we can't have a uh, paste our a uh, copy and paste our image in our code and expect uh, this to be displayed on our screen okay this is uh, the case with all the software uh, applications uh, development applications that you use so in this painter.resource file we had saved a demo.jpg file in our drawable folder you can confirm it for yourself over here can you see it drawable.jpg file and we are referencing it the id of that uh, demo.jpg file from r.drawable uh, id uh, resources and we are converting that image into a bitmap using this painter resource and that converts it into a painter and hands it to the image uh, composable to display it on our screen then we have a content description suppose the image does not load okay or for a screen reader this thing will be shown and what is this content scale property this property actually scales our image as per our desire fine okay so any questions till now about what this entire thing is i know okay fine okay okay any uh, like baki log ko samajh aa raha hai kya ye cheez is uh, this thing clear okay thanks ishita fine fine okay ishika thank you dipto neel fine so we will uh, we have a little uh, brief uh, discussion uh, about it now i would uh, i don't know i think we already crossed our time so suchita so can you just uh, create the uh, attendance form yeah yeah i uh, is it over like do you need anybody has any doubts that's yeah, why yeah. i was waiting for no no that. actually you can create the form and the mean uh, in the meanwhile the form uh, is already yeah, you created you can just discuss a little about mbvm architecture which uh, you will discuss uh, in details in the next session okay okay so can you just give them a brief uh, overview yeah, yeah. just a minute MBVM. just a brief overview and to you get your time the in the screen. next session or uh, do i just say like this so i'll just kind of stop sharing in the meanwhile any doubts will be uh, are are very welcome over here I will stop sharing my screen, and any doubts from anyone, please. I'll be pleased to answer all your doubts. You can unmute yourself and answer. Yeah, ask right. if you want. Uh. Yes, Satyam, you want to say something? हाँ भैया मैं आप लोग के साथ में मतलब बोर्ड करने की कोशिश कर रहा था पर ये मतलब रन नहीं हो रहा इतना भी. Okay, तुम तब एक काम करो एक मिनट दया जरा hold on कर. Yeah yeah. Uh, तुम uh, अपना स्क्रीन शेयर कर सकते हो मुझे मैं तुम्हें परमिशन दे देता हूँ हाँ आप शेयर करके दिखाओ मुझे क्या दिक्कत हो रहा है हाँ तो तुम्हें क्या करना होगा यहाँ पर गो एंड क्लिक ऑन रिमेम्बर Uh, first of all go to card and click on card ha uske baad fir usme alt enter ek sath dabna ya fir wo jo uh, bulb icon dikh raha red color ka us pe click karo ha import click karo theek hai to card import ho gaya ab tumhe waise hi karke remember ko import karna dekho import ka option aa raha hai ठीक है अब और कुछ कुछ करना है वहां पे एक मिनट एक मिनट पहले अभी वो पूरा काम नहीं हुआ है अब वो जो देखो वो अभी भी लिंट दिखा रहा है कि वो कोड अभी पूरी तरीके से क्लियर ये नहीं है तो तुमको उसके रिमेम्बर के लिए दो प्रॉपर्टीज चाहिए होती हैं एक गेट वैल्यू और एक सेट वैल्यू प्रॉपर्टी तो इम्पोर्ट गेट वैल्यू एंड सेट वैल्यू पे क्लिक करो उस पर होवर करो तो देखो इम्पोर्ट गेट वैल्यू आएगा तुम्हारे पास है ना इम्पोर्ट गेट वैल्यू एंड म्यूटेबल स्टेट ऑफ दिख रहा है ब्लू में हाँ तो उस पर क्लिक करो ये हो गया उसके बाद एक और चीज है जो इंपोर्ट करना पड़ेगा उस पर फिर से जाओ होवर करो आई थिंक हाँ उसके बाद फिर से क्लिक करो उस पर इम्पोर्ट गेट वैल्यू एन म्यूटेबल स्टेट ऑफ और उसके बाद फिर हो गया सब ठीक है अब नेक्स्ट है तुम्हारा कॉल नहीं नहीं सेट वैल्यू भी इंपोर्ट करना है तो सेट वैल्यू को इम्पोर्ट कर लो उसका इम्पोर्ट क्लिक करो बस 
ठीक है अब जाके कॉलम को वैसे इंपोर्ट कर लो तो ये मतलब जितना और ये हर ये हाँ एक्चुअली तुम कंपोज के लाइब्रेरी से तुम ये सब क्लासेस का इस्तेमाल कर रहे हो कार्ड का कॉलम का इमेज का ठीक है और जब भी तुम एक फाइल में कुछ आ, कोई भी क्लास आ, ये करते हो लेके आते हो तो तुम्हें इंपोर्ट करना पड़ता है कि नहीं तो वही तुम बेसिकली इम्पोर्ट कर रहे हो यहाँ कि ताकि मुझे मैं वो फंक्शनैलिटीज को यूज कर सकूं एंड एक और चीज वो आर जो है वो कैपिटल होगा क्यों क्योंकि वो एक रिसोर्स फाइल आर एक फोल्डर है जिसके अंदर हमारे यहाँ की सारी रिसोर्सेस ठीक है सो आर डॉट ड्रॉबल डॉट आई सी लॉन्चर बैकग्राउंड की चूज किया तुमने ठीक है अब जाके इसको रन करो तो ये रन हो जाएगा फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एक मिनट तुम्हें सेट कंटेंट व्यू से ये फंक्शन कॉल किया है ना हाँ जेट पैक कम्पोज कार्ड कॉल किया है अब उसको रन करो अच्छा और किसी को कोई और प्रॉब्लम है श्रीजन बोलो हेलो भैया अच्छा एक पूछना था एक मतलब ऑप्शन दिखा रहा है मतलब जहाँ वो वर्चुअल डिवाइस जहाँ से हम लोग रन करते हैं ना तो हाँ। एक ऑप्शन डिवाइस दिया है कि कनेक्ट फिजिकल मोड मतलब फिजिकल मशीन के वाईफाई से कनेक्ट करने के लिए हाँ। तो वो कैसे करते हैं Uh, उसके लिए क्या करना होगा फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल तुम्हारा लैपटॉप uh, जिस वाईफाई नेटवर्क से कनेक्टेड है तो तुम्हारा एंड्रॉइड डिवाइस उस वाईफाई नेटवर्क से कनेक्ट होना होगा एंड देन वहां पर जाके तुम सिर्फ वाईफाई डिबगिंग कर सकते ठीक है तो वाईफाई डिबगिंग होता क्या है वाईफाई डिबगिंग बेसिकली तुम यूएसबी डिबगिंग नहीं करोगे जैसे फोन को मैनुअली कनेक्ट नहीं करोगे uh, अपने लैपटॉप से तुम वाईफाई के थ्रू वायरलेसली अपना एप्लीकेशन को अपने लैपटॉप से अपने फोन में इंस्टॉल कर सकते हो और अपने ऐप को देख सकते हो ठीक है अच्छा तो मतलब वो आप, मतलब क्या मतलब मेरे मोबाइल में रन होगा या मतलब जैसे इधर रन हो रहा है हाँ तुम्हारे फोन में रन होगा इधर रन नहीं होगा अच्छा तुम अपने फोन में एकदम जैसे नॉर्मल एप्लीकेशन चलाते हो तो ये एप्लीकेशन को अपने फोन में डायरेक्टली चला सको तुम्हारा बनाया हुआ ऐप्स है ना ग्रेट हाँ भाई हाँ तो उसके बाद फिर हम लोग मतलब नेक्स्ट से न्यूज ऐप अपना बनाना स्टार्ट करेंगे फिलहाल आई थिंक दया तुम थोड़ा इंट्रोडक्शन दे सकती हो एम बी वी एम का और फिर डिटेल में अगले सेशन में हाँ There is a question छोड़ जाओ मैं ओके आउट ऑफ क्वेश्चन कॉन्टेक्स क्वेश्चन ओके एंड्रॉइड डेवलपमेंट नॉलेज मेक्स एनी डिफरेंस आई फील बोथ ऑफ देम आर क्वाइट डिफरेंट बिकॉज दिस इज एक्चुअली अ सॉफ्टवेयर दैट यू आर डेवलपिंग यू आर यूजिंग एस डी केस एंड दैट इज नॉट यूजिंग एन एस डी के दैट इज यूजिंग द मीन्स बेसिकली द फंक्शनैलिटीज ऑफ अ ब्राउजर तो डेफिनेटली डिफरेंस होगा काफी बहुत बड़ा एंड या साथ में दोनों को सीखना I don't think would be a good idea. एक सीख के फिर दूसरा सीखो एक के साथ अगर दो तीन मंथ स्पेंड करो एंड देन दूसरे को सीखो देन इट विल बी मोर यूजफुल इज इट क्लियर और कोई क्वेश्चन है क्या या मे बी अगले सेशन के लिए एम वी बी एम को रखे What does the audience say? और कुछ सीखना है आज एनी वन ओके नेक्स्ट सेशन बोल रहे हैं तो नेक्स्ट सेशन स्टार्ट दिया करेगी यूजिंग एम वी वी एम आर्किटेक्चर डाउट हाँ द कोड इज नॉट रनिंग ओके फाइन शेयर करो स्क्रीन हाँ तुमने भी मतलब वो नहीं किया है इंपोर्ट नहीं किया है 
just keep importing and your mic is off hello abhi theek hai ha usko import karte ja alt enter ya fir manually hover karke alt enter karne se import sir fir bhi nahi ho raha tum ek bar upar scroll karo और ऊपर स्क्रॉल करो एकदम टॉप पे इंपोर्ट के बगल में तीन डॉट्स हैं उसको ओपन करो देखो वहां पर कुछ गलत इंपोर्ट कर लिया क्या तुमने ग्रीन करके आई थिंक कलर वाला जो हाँ उसको डिलीट कर दो वो इंपोर्ट को डिलीट कर दो इस पूरे को हाँ नहीं नहीं बस वो ग्रीन को अच्छा मैंने हाँ वो वो पूरे लाइन को डिलीट कर दो ठीक है अब सही है अब नीचे जाओ एंड वो पूरा कोड को पहले डिलीट करो डिलीट अच्छा डॉट या डॉट बैकग्राउंड एंड देन इनसाइड ऑफ कैपिटल सी कलर सॉरी डिड यू चूज एंड्रॉइड ग्राफिक्स नॉट एंड्रॉइड ग्राफिक्स यू हैव टू चूज कंपोज कलर सो दैट इज वन मोर थिंग यू हैव टू कीप इन माइंड That color should be of uh, type color and रुको इसमें देखो हाँ एंड्रॉइड कम्पोज यू आई ग्राफिक्स उसको क्लिक करो एंड देन वो ये डिलीट करो वो जो पैरेंटिस है एंड डॉट लेके ग्रीन ठीक है अब वो क्लोज कर दो ब्रैकेट अब सही रहेगा और एंड फिर यहाँ पर से तुमको टेक्स्ट व्यू में कुछ दिक्कत हो रहा है हाँ तुमने ये नहीं गलत ब्रैकेट्स खोला है टेक्स्ट के बाद ये सर्कुलर ब्रैकेट्स होंगे ना यस यस उसके बाद फिर यहाँ एक कॉमा होगा टेक्स्ट के बगल में फाइन यस अच्छा अब इसको रन करके देखो आई थिंक कलर में अभी भी कुछ दिक्कत है शायद लाइन कलर कलर को एक काम करो रुको मैं देखता हूँ क्या दिक्कत है ये पूरा फुल स्क्रीन हो गया है एक सेकंड स्क्रॉल करूं नहीं 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 मेरा स्क्रीन थोड़ा फ्रीज हो गया काम करो चैट बॉक्स में देखो मैंने एक इंपोर्ट ऐड किया है इसको कॉपी पेस्ट करके अपने इंपोर्ट सेक्शन में डाल दो और वो वाला कलर को हटा दो डिलीट कर दो जो टॉप में कलर है ना उसको डिलीट कर दो और ये वाला इसको कॉपी पेस्ट कर दो बस सबसे पहले इसको डिलीट करो वो ऊपर वाला कलर को भी डिलीट कर दो कौन सा ऊपर वाला हाँ वही तुमने पेस्ट किया क्या इसको इम्पोर्ट एंड्रॉइड एक्स हाँ ठीक है अब नीचे जाओ तो वाला हाँ तो उसकी नीचे वाले को भी डिलीट कर दो पहले इन लोग दोनों को हाँ अब नीचे जाओ अभी भी दिक्कत दे रहा है नहीं पैडिंग एक मिनट पैडिंग शायद कुछ प्रॉब्लम कर रहा है मॉडिफायर डॉट फिल्म विथ अब कोई दिक्कत नहीं है होपफुली हो गया यस यस ओके हाँ तो अब अटेंडेंस लिंक शेयर कर सकती हूँ सुचिता यू वांट टू ओके दिया वांटेड टू शेयर समथिंग ना हाँ बताओ Yeah, you wanted to share something? No, 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 not now. Like I would, I was. Actually, the, the next session will be yeah. all about uh, architectures in Android. Oh, okay. And starting our applications. So Dia want, uh, like I wanted Dia to start with that today, since I have only exceeded a, a bit more time. So let's not exceed further. And let's close the session here. So okay, okay. Uh, I would request all of you to kindly switch on your cameras if you can.
possibly and we'll just take a picture of all of us together and then end the session fine ye wo aap color wala kya bol rahe the kaun sa import karna tha usme matlab import karne ke baad color ke liye hame ha to tumme android x dot compose dot ui dot graphics wala color ko import karna hai aur koi color ko nahi तो दो दो तो सेम सेम दिखा रहा हूँ एक बार स्क्रीन शेयर करते हैं अच्छा फाइन एक काम करो मैं ये एक फोटो ले लेता हूँ उसके बाद फिर स्क्रीन शेयर करना था लेट्स नॉट कीप ऑल ऑफ देम वेटिंग एंड लाइक आई आल्सो शेयर द अटेंडेंस लिंक सो काइंडली फिल इट अप सो इफ ऑल ऑफ अस कैन ओपन आर कैमरास आई जस्ट टेक अ क्विक स्क्रीन शॉट ओके फाइन ऑल स्माइल्स just hold on just hold on keep a copy of it just just a second just yes so uh, i can see a uh, few screens are on fine we'll take that okay thanks a lot for attending and ha kya problem tha wo isko you can just share your screen rest of the people aap log agar chahe to reh sakte hain agar chahe to लीव कर सकते हैं ठीक है वील ज्वाइन टू मॉरो एंड स्टार्ट ऑन विद द प्रोजेक्ट विदाउट एनी फर्दर थैंक्स फॉर ज्वाइनिंग द सेशन एंड होप कल से थोड़ा ज्यादा लोग आएंगे हाँ सत्यम ओके आई कैनॉट सी योर स्क्रीन हैव यू स्टार्टेड शेयरिंग इट मैंने किया तो था पर ये यहाँ पर स्क्रीन शेयर हो नहीं रहा क्या बोल रहे हो सुनाई नहीं जा रहा आ, मैं मैं बोल रहा था एक बार अपना फोन का कैमरा से वैसे दिखा सक दिखा दे रहा पता नहीं जो मैं तो क्रैश कर गया ओके i cannot see you ya yeah, no aap dekh raha hai bolo acha woh ne sabko wahi dikkat ho raha hai na to tumhe color jo hai aa tumhe niche sabse niche wala sabse last wala jo hai android x dot compose dot ui dot graphics wo wala color ko choose karna hai ek ek karke sabko import kar do bas That's it. Now run it. <clears throat> Fine. Everybody has filled the attendance form, right? Mm, okay, great. Okay. Ha! Okay. Uh, for those of you who have not filled the attendance form, kindly fill it up. Yeah. Uh, so I think up. Ha! So click karo. So it expand hoga. That's it. Okay. Thank we'll you. do a lot more on compose we'll do about lists scrollable lists image views and a lot of other animations in compose once we start get started with the project fine till then good night have a good day and see ya tomorrow
night good night everyone hmm. okay good night <clears throat> सर हाँ बोलिए सर मैं इस मीटिंग में अभी अभी मतलब कुछ मिनट पहले ही ज्वाइन किया है सर अच्छा इसका सेशन का रिकॉर्डिंग मिलेगा हाँ या, या। दोनों सेशन का रिकॉर्डिंग हाँ। मिल जाएगा जी डी एस टी के ऑफिशियल चैनल में अच्छा मैं चैनल नहीं जानता इसलिए मैं लिंक प्रोवाइड कर सकता चैनल का लिंक I think तुमको मिल जाएगा तुम जस्ट फिल अप द अटेंडेंस फॉर्म एंड फ्रॉम देयर वी कैन गेट योर ईमेल आईडी एंड विल देन फॉरवर्ड द थिंग टू एवरीवन फाइन ओके थैंक यू सर आना चाहिए सीएस की तरह आ भी बता चलो ये सही है ठीक है सुचिता तब एंड करते हैं सेशन अ Okay. Uh, everybody can leave. Like the session is over. Hmm. Did sir also leave? Sir, did join? Kya tha? Ha. Ah, oh, great. Sahi hai fir. Okay, then we Ab can end. I am end karna session. Okay. Hmm. Thank you. Bhaiya, yeah. wo upload nahi hua hai. Wo pas session kabi baaki hai. Ha ha. Wo actually edit ho raha hai. To isliye thoda time lag raha hai isko upload hone mein. Ah, uh, wo bhi upload ho jayega jaldi. वो काम में है मोस्ट प्रोबली आज कल के अंदर हो जाना चाहिए ठीक है ठीक है भैया यप आरएसवीपी मींस दैट यू वांट टू अटेंड दैट सेशन दैट्स व्हाई यू डू आरएसवीपी यू जस्ट क्लिक ऑन आरएसवीपी एंड देन आई गेस यू हैव टू प्रोवाइड योर डिटेल्स योर नेम एवरीथिंग लाइक दैट व्हाटएवर सेशन यू रजिस्टर फॉर इन जीडीएससी अ मेल विल कम टू यू एंड देन यू हैव टू डू आरएसवीपी फॉर दैट by doing the rsvp we get to know that uh, you have registered it like we get the dashboard when your gmail gets attached to it okay thank you ma'am yeah so why now i'm ending the session okay